Right. Are we, but are, you know, again, I'm come, I'll come to Waymo because even though they only have about 700 cars, they obviously are on the market. They're, uh, they're in Beverly Hills all sure. over the place. It's, it's a proof of concept. They've got 28 cameras, they've got LiDAR and radar. You've had a different approach. Six, I think, eight, eight to nine cameras and the neural network. Why do you feel that that is going to be the equivalent in terms of safety profile? Oh, I think it'll be better. Why? Uh, because the, uh, the way that the road system is designed is for AI. Uh, it's basically, it's, it's, I should say, it's, it's for intelligence, uh, biological neural net, and eyes. Uh, that's how the whole road system is designed. So what will actually work best for the road system is artificial intelligence, digital neural nets, and cameras. And uh, we, we also have the microphones so the car can hear emergency vehicles and that kind of thing. Right. Um, you are going to have the microphones to hear the... the yeah, you yeah, need to hear... that was a question. That, right, you need to hear a fire engine or a police car. Yes, exactly. Right. Uh, so, uh, but that's, that's how the whole road system is designed. Um, it's uh, not designed for shooting lasers out of your eyes. Um, so... Um, and what we found is that when you, when you have multiple sensors, and they, they tend to get confused. So do you believe the camera or do you believe the LiDAR? Mm -hmm. And if they get confused, that's, where you can, uh, that's, that's what can lead to accidents. So we used to have, for example, a radar in the car, but we found that the radar and the camera uh, would sometimes disagree, and then you don't know which one to believe. So it wasn't about expense, it was just about... No. Yeah. Uh, are you seeing the data in, right... In fact, we turned off the radars in the cars. You turned off the radar, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, are you, are you comfortable right now, if I were to say to you, all right, Let's go. You think that you're there in terms of the safety profile you're seeing right now? Yeah, we could, we could take a ride today if you want. Sure. Yeah, well, I'm happy to take a ride with you anytime right. you want, wherever you want. Um, logistics capability to operate sort of a ride-hailing fleet at scale, because you mentioned, obviously, let's call it the end of 26. Are you going to have an app? Are you there? Do you have that ability? I think we can figure out an app. You Somebody do? tells me. You're not worried about it? Which is already has an app. Yeah, I know, but so is there, is there going to be <laughs> a ride-hailing app you'll introduce for you? How to ride an app, you know, that's really not the... It's not too hard? No. XAI can probably do it for you in like an hour. Tesla can ride apps just fine. Um, do you ever license, consider licensing the technology yes. at some point? Yes, we, we, we're, I mean, there are a number of uh, major automakers that have talked to us about licensing self-driving, and um, we're very much open to that. Um, so... Uh, I think the more, the more we demonstrate the capability of self-driving, the more that they will want to license it, um, and, um, and we're, we're happy to help. Um, you know, back to the safety profile, because it's going to obviously be something, a uh, key focus. Um, Business Insider, take it for what you want, but I saw this over the weekend. They did a test between Waymo and, and Tesla. Um, and they weren't critical uh, at all. Business Insider is not a real publication. No, but, but, but it, it did seem, they're, they're a fake, regardless they're of whether fake. we want to have a debate about their journalistic integrity, which I don't, I, I, the, the test I mean, itself, let me just share it with yeah. you and, and get your reaction, which was um, the Waymo, ultimately, they said, proved better in part only because it avoided, with its geofencing, one very difficult intersection that the Tesla chose to go through. It stopped at a red light, but then it went through the red light. What's your reaction? Look, I'm not going to comment on some uh, Business Insider article. But is that a concern at all? Because in a way, there's no geofencing. So it's like no, it's do. happy to go on the highways in a way that perhaps a Waymo is not. I guess my question is, is that a concern at all for you in terms of it encountering things that are still sort of a crucial test and perhaps it fails? No, first of all, that, was a, that, that actually should have been a test of supervised on self-driving, a supervised self-driving, uh, not unsupervised self-driving. So the assumption there is that you have a person who is uh, going to take over. Right. So their, their test made no sense. Okay. Um, for uh, when we deploy the cars in, in, in Austin, uh, we are actually going to deploy it not to the entire Austin region, but only to the, uh, the parts of Austin that we consider to be uh, the safest. So we will geofence it. You will? Yeah, of course. Right. Um, so uh, it's, it's not going to take uh, intersections unless we are highly confident it'll, it's going to do well with that intersection. It'll just, it'll just take a route around that intersection. But there won't be a safety driver in the car. Correct. Right. The car, it won't, there's not going to be somebody sitting there. Right. 